It's morning time, I've been awoken to something, and that's because I've had a couple parcels come. One, two, three, four, five of them things. But what are they? Well, oh, by the way, yeah, it's early, I've just got up, so <laughs> in pajamas. It is, uh, I think it's got different names, but they're incremental weights. I bought 0.5. I'm hoping these fit on my bar, I'm sure they should. So you can go up my 0.5. They feel nice, good quality. What did these cost? These cost like a hundred and... I'm gonna say 120, but I can't remember. Which is shocking because they're not heavyweights. Well, this, this is probably the heaviest one. This one here. <laughs> they look good. <laughs> look well smart. So I've got 2.5. They're, uh, they're rubber as well. Well, probably metal on the inside, but rubber. Love that they're all different colours as well. We've got a... Uh, one kilogram. Blue, favorite color. Nice, two kg. It's like a little mini Christmas for me. <laughs> Yellow, so nice. It actually worked out where, while it's not cheaper to buy all of them together, it was a better deal than just buying like the, the 2.5 and I think it was like the 1.5 or something. So yeah, it's pretty cool to have. Looking forward to using them. midnight. I have finished my stream and everything and I had no plans of coming to the gym but I would like to record this video on the day I'm supposed to do it so we're doing it. So what are we doing today? Well this is day two of my workout however chronologically this is actually week two of my workout day two. Next time you see a video it'll be week three day three kind of things. I am actually really sore at the moment so I didn't do my squats, today we're doing squats, uh, until towards the end of the week last week. Because I was in a rush, so I had to miss something, so I put the squats off, so I knew it'd kill me. I did do them though, I did really well. Now we've got to do them again, and my legs are still killing me. They're literally oh, in agony. But I think if we, if we work up to it, we might be all right. So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna do squats to start off with, and then we're gonna do a little bit of shoulders, with shoulder press, and then I'm gonna finish off with some triceps and some shoulder raises, and we might superset that as well. So I'm hoping not in here too long today, because I am knackered. So let's give it a go. Let's get the bar set up first. That'd probably help out, wouldn't it? Oh. Last week, Tuesday, I was doing five reps, and I did 80 kg. So I did five reps, 80, and that was perfect for me. Today we're doing eight reps, so we could probably um, decrease the weight by a bit. The last time I did this, I did 60 kg. So let's see how things go. We'll start nice and easy and then just work our way in. Oh. So. Oh. Squats. See my phone go, let me know. Yet again, no music in here. Why don't you put some music on Sam? Well, it's because I did a live stream of me working out in here yesterday, and uh, I let my Alexa just play whatever music she wanted to play. And I think I had about 16 copyright claims. <laughs> so no, unfortunately not. Straight in again, have a warm up. Is 
too many warm-ups. If I'd gone there, I've just gone 20, 30, 40, like, and then after this I'm probably going to go to 60, and then I'm going to try and do 8 reps of that, which feels right. 10 count as a warm-up, we should probably jump straight back on it again. Oh. A bit, a bit close to the rack this time, just in case. Some stuff I'm trying to make sure I'm conscious of, so obviously when I'm squatting, I'm trying to keep my back nice and straight kind of thing. I'm trying to make sure my heels stay planted on the floor, I'm not like sort of doing that. What's crazy is I'm actually whispering, I don't know if you can tell, um, because there's no one else in the house that I could wake up. Um, I'm in a detached house, so next door shouldn't hear me. I've literally put my music on full blast in here, went outside and you can't hear it. And yet I still whisper. <laughs> I just can't help it. <laughs> but that was all. We do my reps. <sighs> oh. Now, the reason you shouldn't do static stretches, I think they're called, so like, I was doing this now, is because my muscles are cold. And you imagine trying to stretch a piece of frozen chicken. It's not really gonna, bend to your will. In fact, you probably end up snapping it. So that's the reason why you don't really stretch cold. So you do dynamic stretches, which can, which is usually like things like this. But you've got the elastic band and you're doing that. Oh, it's a bit of a, that's more hamstring to be fair. From my leg back and forth. When I uh, snapped my hamstring at football a couple years ago, this was one of the, uh, the workouts I was supposed to do just to sort of get it back in. Just swing your leg back like You can feel it in your hamstring on the way back. Alright, enough faffing about. Alright, uh, this could be a working set, so eight of these. This is set three, eight reps on 60 kg. Here we go, on my tired legs. I just wanna rub that in. Stress that. Okay. 
You know what, miss? Miss leg press. I used to really enjoy that for legs. It was just nice, fun. Get on the machine and just press it out. It was nice. You always felt really strong on that as well. Like, I always felt like a beast on it. I think anybody does. Like, if you get a bit of confidence with it, you can put so much weight on there. But I think it's a little bit deceptive. Like, the weight I put on leg press, I couldn't do on squat. I think I'm going to rip that out, I can tell you exactly what I did. My leg press, I was doing 4 sets of 12 till fail. Uh, I managed to get to uh, 100, 190 kg, which I thought was really good. That was with good form as well, like, I really did fall right down, 190 kg. But I've always been happy with my legs. Like, I used to be a sprinter back in the day. I've represented, well, when I was younger, fitter, <laughs> faster. Um, I represented, like I was the fastest person in my primary school, secondary school. I represented the school. I represented the uh, city that I grew up in. And then I, at the highest level, I represented the county. So that was the, the highest I got. But the county level was kind of my, I never had, never had any form of like training or anything like that. I was the only person at the running track when I when I raced, where I was just in normal trainers, everybody else was in like, you know, like running shoes. But I think when I did that, I think I came sixth or something like that. So that was kind of like, that's kind of your, you realize your level at that stage, you know. A lot of fun though, really glad I did it. I used to be so confident in my sprinting. Pushing now, just heavy. And I'm being distracted, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got one more set left. <sighs> Beautiful. So I can update my board now for squats, week one, two, four, 60, 60 kg on there. So I would say I could have done more. I could have pushed myself a little bit more, a little bit higher. But I think the reason I didn't want to today was because I did my squats probably, what day are we on today? Tuesday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days ago. Um, I don't want to push it. so. I can recover now, I don't have squats now for a full seven days, so I can recover with them. So next thing we're doing is shoulders. We just did bench press yesterday, so my chest is sore, but I've still got a little bit of life in my shoulders, so let's see what we can do. We're doing 12 reps, four sets. So this is gonna be very intimate. I feel like when I was, you know, you're not supposed to see the, uh, the character yet. <laughs> my blackout bar. Overhead shoulder press. Uh, I don't have any dumbbells yet, so I can't do dumbbell press, which is a bit of a shame. So we're doing bar press. Oh. So I'll do it right here for you. Luckily, my, my roof isn't very... Can I keep it all in frame? Oh. 12 reps, waft. Now I'll be honest, this is gonna be hard for me. We'll see how we do. Last week, I did five reps, four sets of 40. So, and apparently I felt confident on 40, but I think 30 for 12, this is nearly triple the amount, might be all right, so. I go shoulder width apart. My feet will be about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, try and keep yourself straight, and we'll see how this goes. So. I 
I couldn't get to 12, so. Um, what should I do? Should I try and do my week two ones, four sets of eight instead? I did get to 10 on this. Or should I drop the weight? I'm gonna do my week two now. We do eight reps, so we're gonna bump up the weight with our brand new incrementals. So I'm gonna have 2.5 kg on the other side. So that's an extra five kilograms. So that is 20, 30, 35, 35 kilograms for eight reps. Let's see how we do. Oh. sometimes that was easier than my first set it's my second set <laughs> but your muscles just must get used to it or something like I got to the eight seventh one going to the eighth on the first set it's like ah. this one that was fine <laughs> ah. don't make no sense so one of the reasons why I'm not so gung-ho at the moment of bumping up the weight like like I just said then, oh, I did the weight, maybe I could just increase it by like one kilogram. It's, it's only week two, I don't wanna over push myself, get any inches or anything like that. So I'm happy doing just above the bare minimum now. Like obviously push myself to what I can do, what I'm failing on at the right points and everything. But give me a, give me a month of training, get my muscles back into the swing of things fully. And then we can start really trying to beef up the numbers, I think. Can we just go straight into it? I think so. Uh, that's a squat then. <laughs> Paint for themselves already. Next workout we're doing is uh, triceps. Now, I don't have a ton of things to do triceps with. I could do like flat bench, close grip, but I think I do enough benching, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have um, an easy bar, so you know, this one. Um, skull crushers, I flip the name then. Um, it hurts my wrists to do it on a flat bar, plus I wouldn't be able to do it on the uh, the big long barbell, uh, barbell anyway. So skull crushers are out until I can buy an easy easy bar. Um, so two workouts I actually really like um, are the one-handed tricep extension. This is one of my favorite tricep workouts. Uh, to be fair, cables would be my favorite, but we don't have them. Um, I do like two-handed as well, but it doesn't feel very good to me. Like, it feels good, but I don't think I'm, I feel like the one-on-one -on -one is probably better, so you should probably stick to the one-on-one. -on -one. 
Um, and I tried to do some kickbacks last week, so these ones, and I definitely felt it afterwards, so I think they might have done something. So I might do some kickbacks on the slightly lighter weight, but in terms of overhead tricep extension, uh, we've got the choice of five kilograms, which is 11 pounds, eight kilograms, uh, kettlebell, this is all the equipment I've got by the way, or oh, 16 kg. So how does this feel? Four, oh God, I mean, Oh no, my, my form is all over the gaff there, all over the shot. So we're going to do four sets of eight because I did four sets of 12 uh, last week. So we're going to do my, my second week now, even though I'm on week one. So four sets of eight reps. Let's see how we do on 8kg. Uh, let's have a warm up with five and then we'll move on to eight. So, I, the way I do it is I go over and then I try to twist myself just a little bit to the side just so my arm feels straighter and gravity is taking my arm down more. Now this weight isn't heavy enough really, I probably need to control a bit more. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump into the eight next. Eight reps, eight kg. Here we go. So, down. This way, really. It's going to be a good way to showcase it. So, we go down. You know what? Quite like it on the kettlebell. It does a weird thing towards the bottom where it sort of pulls out like this, but I don't know, I can feel it more on my tricep. Because uh, it was good. Like right that. Do feel as good as that one. Not sure why. Done 12 reps, sue me. We're doing 12 now. Now, really annoyingly, right one feels buttery smooth, like I can feel it working, it feels good, I feel like it forms fine. This one, I don't know, it just feels all over the place. Not sure why. Maybe imbalance. Set three. Ooh. Fell that towards the end. I felt better. I felt good. One more set of them. And that's triceps done. And it's just literally uh, lateral raise and reverse fly, I think it's called, or reverse lats. That's one. Oh, that got me. Just about. Forms again. I don't know. Oh well, that one's done. 12 reps, 4 sets, 8 kg. So it's just lat raise, reverse lat, raise, superset. Oh, I kind of forgot the form on this one, but it's
That feels right the right form, so it's, I'm just slightly bent forward, and we're doing about there, and then we're letting the, the far end sort of come up a little bit more. I mean, it feels like it's doing it. So that was the first one. The second one we were supersetting, uh, to get you in frame properly. So it's bent over, and we're basically doing that. My camera's about to die, so I will meet back with you when I have done my four sets of these. I've only got three more sets then to do, so it shouldn't take too long. See you in a minute. Done. I am knackered and tired. What time is it? It's five past one at night. Yippee. So what have we got left to have? We're just gonna have one scoop of whey protein with water and that is it. Why not two scoops? Because I mixed this with my flavoured porridge this morning. I had cinnamon Quaker's oat porridge and I mixed it with this, um, I think it's raspberry and vanilla or something like that. Vanilla raspberry, yeah, with sweetener. Oh my God, it was horrible. It was vile. It was uh, so sweet. I ate it because I ain't wasting protein powder, but uh, oh man, it's horrible. I'll never do that again. I'll just literally have the protein shake next to it. I think it might have been all right if the porridge was bland or if this wasn't so sweet kind of thing or if this was unflavored and the porridge had the, the flavor in it instead. But flavored this and flavored that together just makes something so sweet. So we're just gonna have a little quick wash that out. Um, overall, today's training was okay. Um, not super energetic, mainly because of the time of night it is. Uh, literally come from I've been sitting down all day, editing a video, straight onto live streaming, straight onto uh, doing this gym, and I'm supposed to edit tonight, but I can't be bothered. Um, I'll do it in the morning. I'll get up nice and early tomorrow, and I'll do it then. Uh, Food-wise today though, my, my diet was fantastic. Really happy with how the diet went. Um, ate really well. I've sort of got a food shopping list planned for my next big shop and it's gonna be even better. I'm getting in my five a day now, so um, it's, I'm gonna try and incorporate 80 grams of blueberries, 80 grams of strawberries, um, 80 grams of broccoli, 80 grams of spinach, and there was one more five a day. Oh, what was the last one? Uh, a whole pepper, sweet pepper, which is 80 grams. So obviously, if I wanted to mix it up, I could always put like, 20 grams of onion in, 40 grams of, uh, 60 grams of pepper or something like that if I want to mix it up. So I think that's kind of cool. But if I, if I eat that, then I'm technically hitting my five a day. And the calories in vegetables are like next to nothing. So <laughs> you're not gonna get fat overeating on uh, veg really. So they all seem uh, pretty good, full of vitamins, something I probably need to eat more of anyway. So looking forward to that. But I think I'm gonna buy like frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries because I can't keep all the vegetables alive long enough because I buy like a month's worth of food at a time. So each of my shops have lasted about a month each time. Unfortunately, I didn't build this house with uh, videographer lighting. Oh God. And some just, I'm sure some just escaped. So there you go, that is the end of week two. At some point I'll probably try and incorporate some food stuff, show you how I'm doing my food. Uh, we've got another two more days worth of training to get in. Maybe we could do some cardio one of the days or something, but definitely try and get a, a food haul in at some point. And I'll try and include you all when my big purchases come for in the gym, which is gonna be the free weights, uh, the mirrors, the easy bar. Looking forward to getting things like that. I'm gonna have a nice little tidy up in there because everything's kind of just scattered at the moment. Sorry for whispering in today's video. It is very late at night. But uh, other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Yum.